Hey there, how are you? Today we're playing some disc golf. Uh, we're at the Covenant Disc Golf Course here in Greenville, North Carolina. Playing 18, see how well we do. Here we are on hole one, 270 feet, right up the gut. I see a lot of mid-ranges and fairway drivers throwing out to the right and have them crash hopefully somewhere right in the gap in the front to get your easy bird. Today I'm gonna to be taking a C-Line MD1. I've been loving this disc. I love the six glide. I love putting it on a hyzer, having it flip up, which uh, I would love to have doing this shot, but it doesn't. And I am short about 30 feet. And I have an unobstructed putt. Not the greatest, Laura. Got this tree right in front of me. Try not to think about it. It's not there. It's not there. It doesn't exist. So get right, right head off. Get my far, move on. Hole two is just 178 feet, but look at what you gotta navigate through. The up the gut route is very tight, and you can see I had a trouble not hitting the tree with my drone on this footage. There is a left lane for righty flickers and lefty backhands, but it's really tight, so I'm taking a practice right up the middle. I don't like the height, but I love the line. Give myself a chance for bird here, about 30 out. I just switched to Discraft Lunas and I'm absolutely loving uh, the 3303 flight numbers on them. Um, really give me a lot of confidence in my putting. Hole three, 256 feet, left to right moving shot. You gotta stay out of the little creek here or else that's out of bounds. Um, I would love to have an ace on this. This is a mind bender. I put this on a good ace run line. I, could, I had to have been up close. Had to have been close. Here's a bird for 32, 33 feet. Let's go. Here we are in hole four, 303 feet. You've got to navigate over these three piles of dirt. Don't know what it's for. They've been there all winter. And you've got to hit this gap with a left to right moving shot so you can avoid the guardian trees to the left of the basket. Taking an Axiom Crave. Over the dirt mounds, moving left to right through the gap. Not enough to get to the right. But I was lucky enough to get through the Guardian Trees. I've got about like 27, 28 left. Player two. Buddy, what are you doing? You're supposed to be loving these Lunas. Hole five. I love hate hole. Um, this hole is a left to right moving shot. You want to hit this this gap coming up, but you want to be kind of hugging the right hand side by this tree as the drone passes right now. That way it gets around to the right, flattens up, and then ends up nice up by the basket. I empty my bag at least once a week to try to get the A's. I'd love to have it. Throw in an Axiom Rhythm, a little on the inside. I get a nasty kick. It's not too bad. It's just before the thickets and the, the deep brush. Nice easy proxy up shot. Really happy with that. Parked. Par and let's move on. Good old hole six. 258 feet. The basket is located at the edge of the wood line here at the end. I like to take a right hand backhand hyzer, bring it out wide as the drone's flying, have it crash from right to left, land right about here, curl just at the edge of the woods line so you're right next to the basket for an easy bird. Taking an Axiom Fission Envy. Usually take a pyro here, but I've been loving this Fission. It's been doing a lot of good work for me recently. It might be perfect. Not quite. I thought I had enough power to get around the wood line, but it was short. And as you can tell, even if you're short, you still have a lot of options to get out of the jail. Hole 7, 499 feet, par 4. Very generous par 4. Um, the road I play as a river, so if you get to the other side, it still plays as inbound. I like to, my goal is to make it to this, this tree coming up on the left. Um, it's marked at 340 feet, and any place past that is just bonus. It really makes for an easy up shot. Um, the field on the left is inbounds all the way. Um, it just is a pain in the rear end when they don't cut it, and it gets really tall. It's hard to find your 
I threw this PD on a line I liked, it just wasn't high enough, but man, did it ever get some ground play. Probably the best ground play I've ever had in my disc golf career. Let's go. It's crazy, it's just in. Unreal. About 400 feet. That's my max is like 410, 415, so that's a really good shot for me. Nice, easy proxy approach for my bird. Now if we can get eight, we'll be having a nice little turkey. Hole eight is just 176 feet. It is on an elevated basket. Um, very prone to roll away, so if you go into the creek, it isn't out of bounds. Stroke to you, uh, but pretty straightforward. I'm gonna go with an Axiom Fission Envy again on a nice hyzer play. Love the ankle. Wish it was a tad bit higher, but that'll that'll be just fine. Nice little tap in for birdie here. And that is a turkey right there, fellows and ladies. Pole nine is a very tight gap off the tee, as you can tell with the drone footage. And then it's about 200 some odd feet from here, left to right, moving shot. Uh, this is the only hole on the course that I'll do a lefty back in. Doing an MPV, MVP vault. Uh, out of the hand, I it's early, and it's gonna make me be short, but I'm very happy with it, regardless of how short it is. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Let's go, even with the music in the background. Player two. Ah, here we go, hole 10, 279 feet. You just need something straight that moves towards this gap. You need to give it enough height because the, there's pucker brush thorns to the left. Something straight that hits this gap and then can miss these three guardian trees. And you do want to check up before you go into the creek because it's out of bounds. This is an FD. I threw it at 40% thinking it'd stable up, but it didn't. And I'm probably 45, 50 feet back. Uh, this is just an upshot to get my par move on. That was coming in a little hot. I'm glad it checked up before going out of bounds. Hole 11 is the ace run hole on the course. 150 feet. Uh, you really just need to navigate past this tree on the right and then this little gap here in hopes that you get your ace. Throw in a thought space practice. And let me tell you, I've never aced this. Do it one time. One time. And that was inches so close. From, from my first ace here, and uh, golly, I'm so lucky it checked up too. I'm only like 29, 30 feet from the basket for a bird. There we go, uh, 8 through 12, hole 12 is 258 feet. Um, it's right straight up this narrow tunnel if you will and then you've got to beat these what six or seven guardian trees to get into the green for your birdie I'd love to have an ace on this one as well another thought space praxis shot just really trying to hit the the tunnel just hit the initial gaps and I'll worry about the guardians is my first thought my next thought is that's way too low and rightfully so I hit a root kicks me down and uh, no no forward play about 65 away Well, you roll right away there. Rolled away about 20, 25 feet. Got my par. Moving on. Hole 13, 258 feet. Probably the hardest hole, or one of the hardest holes on the course. This one easily turns a birdie into a bogey just by one tree kick. Uh, but also one of my very favorite holes on the course. Taking my C line MD1 on this. Uh, Right up the gut line. Love this line. I have one one tree to miss and I hit it and it kicks right. About 45 feet away. Obstructed by these little leaves. I've got to kind of readjust here. They're not in my head. They're not in my head. Leaves don't exist. Ah, shank. Player two. That's what you're supposed to do. And there's a par moving on. Got to get off this par train. Come on. 14 is a good hole to get a bird. Uh, 251 feet. 
Hi. There's kind of two lanes, the one the drone's going on, and then there's one to the right of these trees as the drone passes. I tend to like to go to the one to the right just because if I fade out early, I could easily go in the creek to the left for an out of bounds stroke. So I'm taking a pyro to the right hand side of that, that tree up ahead. Love the line. Height not so much. And I hit a tree. Probably like 50 feet out. <laughs> can't say that I didn't lay up. Or it can't say that I didn't go for it. There we go. English is hard. Speaking of hard, uh, probably the hardest hole in the course, hole 15, 262 feet, right up a narrow gap, um, tunnel rather. There is a couple local routes. I don't dare to go for them, so I go right up the gut with an MD1, typically. I thought this was going to hyzer. I thought it was going to go in. If it didn't, hit that tree. I think I had a really good chance. Probably like 28, 29 feet away. Need this bird. I shake it. 30. Uh, the uh, par train continues. Hole 16 is a, a favorite of mine. 247 feet. Small left to right moving hole. Um, really don't want to kick off the fairway. It's very hairy on both sides. Um, so just try to keep it in the fairway for an easy bird. Taking a uh, Cosmic Electron Proxy. Absolutely loved it out of the hand, loved the height, loved the speed. Got a nice ground play. Put me within 15, 20 feet for the bird. Oh, you're going to play a three. Let's go. Hole 17, 340 feet. Um, love taking uh, something flat to stable over the creek and have it land up by the basket. Um, I also like to take something uh, very stable and hyzer over the creek and come back over. But today I'm taking a Dismania PD over the creek, um, flat, and then have it fade right up by the basket. I love, love love this line I parked it very happy with my performance on this hole and my nemesis hole 18 I have to take a right hand turnover shot on this uh, 285 feet you really want uh, a right hand flick for this hole my god do you want a right hand flick for this hole um, depending on the wind uh, doing a right hand backhand is just it's very touchy and I'm not too touchy with my right, arm, right hand back in turnovers. This is a mind bender. Initially, I liked the, liked the line it was on, just a little too far wide. Uh, probably 45, 50 feet away. And we're going to end this round with the par. And player two making an adjustment. And that'll wrap it up. Didn't shoot the negative 12 down, but we almost got there. Uh, negative 10, clean round, bogey free. Played really well. I'm happy with my play. I'm happy where my where my play is at. My putting is a lot more consistent after switching to the Discraft Lunas. Um, loving how they feel out of the hand. Loving the three fade on there for my Heiser putting. But yeah, that'll wrap it up. If you're in the Greenville area and, and would like someone to play play with on Covenant. Uh, send me a message on here. I'd love to meet up for a round and show you the course. And, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the Greenville Disc Golf, don't hesitate to reach out. And I appreciate your time. Thanks for making this far. Stay classy. Stay beautiful. Stay golden.